Hello, Scott. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for uh, talking with Eric. Uh, he sent your website over to me for analysis, and that's what this is. So uh, hold on to your seat. No, I want to be that exciting. Uh, but I will tell you this. You have a beautiful website. Absolutely. You spent some money on it, and it shows. It was money well spent. Uh, it answers questions that uh, customers may have. It has some great custom photos. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's great. You have a blog, everything going on for you. But your website is underperforming. And I am going to show you exactly how I came to that conclusion. I'm going to show you the numbers. And then, uh, you know, you can double check my work if you like. It's all available. So uh, first thing is... Um, I go to a tool that I have, a paid tool called Ahrefs. Now, this is something that shows me the metrics of your site, how it's been uh, performing over the last couple months, New Image Homes, LLC. Now, the next thing I do is I go and do a regular old Google search. And the reason I do that, because Google is responsible for about 96% of your traffic. So, uh, I mean, most people don't find your site by some other means. Uh, most people are looking for a roofer or looking for you specifically, and they will type you into Google, and there you'll be. So, uh, there are some other search engines, but they do not have the reach that Google does. Now, uh, the reason that I'm talking about Google is because Google has an algorithm that determines the placement of everything on a Google search page. And that algorithm is not unknown. It is something that if you know about it and how Google searches are conducted, then it's a great benefit to you because not knowing means that you are not taking advantage of all that Google has to offer. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you these uh, um, how Google works uh, by describing how a page is laid out. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to find on a Google search is oftentimes sponsored, which means that somebody has paid to be in this spot. Not a bad decision. Uh, but some people figure, why would somebody need to pay to be in a list of the best of the best? And that is not what Google is. It does not make any judgment calls. The algorithm has no idea what your site looks like either. There is no points for having a beautiful site. So... Uh, the first thing you're going to find after the paid ones are what we call the map pack. Now, these folks here uh, did something that these folks here did not do, and that is fill out a Google business profile. Now, that Google business profile uh, gets you into the Google world, if you will, and it's going to ask you things like what year you started your business, what your daily hours are, and it's going to make you prove that you own the website that you're filling the profile out for. Now, doing that profile thoroughly and precisely is exactly what will get you up here. And there's a value to being up here. There's a value to being closer to the top of a Google search because more people will click on you than if you're far down. I'm going to show you more about that as we move on. Underneath the map pack, we have what we call the organic search results. Now, these are only organic in the sense that uh, the algorithm itself is only responsible. You didn't have to fill out anything in order for the placement to be there. Now, uh, I'm going to take this just for a second, too. Scott Roofing is both there and here. And that is something important for you to remember because you can be in both place. Google treats these two search areas uh, as sort of different. This one will only ever have three people in it or maybe four if there's a sponsored one. But uh, it's important to know that. Um, now, I was telling you the uh, uh, organic search results are not like random. They're not like they're gonna, not going to change every day if you go and do them one day and come back the next or the next. They're not going to change unless people do something to change the interior of their website. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about. Now, uh, Lions Roofing, I'm going to refer to as your Google competitor for the purpose of this analysis. Here is their website. Here is yours. I'm going to do a very simple thing. I'm going to cut and paste your website into this word counter here. 839 words. I'm going to do the same for lions. There we go. Oh, no, I, I went to a different page. Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> Not looking like the consummate professional, am I? All right, uh, here we go. I'm going to select all, copy, and paste onto this 
word counter. Again, 958 words. Now, algorithms are a mathematical construct, so they are just looking for more. For an algorithm, more is better. 958 does beat 839, not by much. But I can also tell you this. Your competitor does not have enough words. Uh, in addition, I mean, obviously you don't too as a result, but Google wants 1,500 words on your homepage because they think that that is the minimum number of words that uh, can exist on a web page to be able to teach their search customers what it is that they have just Googled about. And whether that be something um, um, academic or whether it be something they're looking for a company, it's all the same to Google. They want you to have 1,500 words on your web page so that you can uh, teach their customers something. Now, all words are not the same, though. I have to tell you that. Those 1,500 words should be jam-packed with what I'm showing you now, and that is keywords. Keywords are words that come from your industry. They're words that come from your competitors' websites. They come from uh, Google searches, and they come from the communities that you uh, serve. So. Uh, having one keyword is probably not optimal. Now I'm going to show you what Lions has for keywords. They have 4,900. Now I can show you what those are because I have a tool that does that. And a lot of these results are going to seem repetitive because, well, they are. But also I need to point out that companies is not the same as company because uh, the algorithm does not know our language. It is looking for very specific things. Sometimes it's company, sometimes it's company. It doesn't know that those words are related. It does not know that roofing is related with roofer or roof. So uh, it is a very dumb thing. It is not making any judgment calls. It is just looking for uh, these little phrases. Now, as you can see, uh, uh, replace roof with solar panels is something that people are interested in in Phoenix. Uh, roof repairing. Um, Free roof repair estimates. Uh, should I tell insurance about a new roof? Those are the sorts of questions people have been asking in Phoenix. And those are the kind of things that you want uh, to have on your website as a result. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is backlinks. Backlinks is where your site appears on a different domain. In other words, uh, like for instance, uh, uh, Yelp is a domain that your site could appear on. If you have uh, a business profile there and, and you uh, uh, claimed it and decided to put your website on there, then you would have uh, a backlink. That's what a backlink is. And it would be on a domain that is different than your domain. You are currently on three domains with six backlinks. That is a, a pretty good ratio of those to those. I'm going to show you what Lions has. They have 619 different domains. Now, um, I'm going to show you their domains. Uh, Wikipedia, MapQuest, Angie's List, uh, Expertise, Yellow Pages, Porch.com, Super Pages, so on and so on. Now, these are the domain ratings. They're a number from 0 to 100 that uh, talks about the strength of a domain's backlink profile. Now, what that means is, just as I've said about your backlink, uh, these folks have a lot of other websites that have their uh, uh, link on it. So they have a lot of backlinks, and that's why those numbers go up. That's why your number is currently, well, zero. It would be good to have at least one, and uh, for a company of your size, anywhere from 1 to 24 is absolutely respectable. But you want to be on any of these sites that are, say, uh, 70 and above. And they have a pretty good number of those. Now, you are going to find some that are more local that are not going to have a rating that high. But that's fine. Getting on local uh, uh, websites that will be able to refer other local people to you is absolutely great. Now, uh, what this all comes down to is this. Uh, your traffic last month was zero, as it was the month before. Meaning, this site is not having anyone come to it. And you built this. You paid money to have this done, expecting that people would find it and come to you to get a quote, to look at your services, for this thing to become a tool of your business just like any other. Now, uh, it is not that currently, uh, with no one going to it. Here's what Lions has. 
4,400. That's how many visitors they had last month. That is up 297 from the month before. So they had 4.2 more or less roughly uh, uh, in the month prior to that. Now, um, that is a lot of people. And I'm going to tell you that the odds are in favor of 4,400 visits turning into an estimate request more so than zero. You already knew that. Um, and I'm not trying to rub it in. I'm just telling you that there is money left on the table, and that comes from them being right up here near the top. I'm sure the same, if I did the same stats for Scott Roofing, we would find the same. There they are in both places. Now, I'm going to do something that uh, I don't often do, but I'm going to scroll down until I find your uh, listing, or at least maybe we'll try. And I just want you to think about your own Google habits. How far down do you scroll when you're looking for something before you decide to yourself, you know what, I have everything I need from here on up. I don't have to scroll down any farther. I, you know, I have everything here. So, um, no, that's, is that you? No, that's not you. Darn. Um, well, I'm going to tell you that this is the reason that you are not getting any uh, visitors because what is in your website, your keywords, your uh, Google business profile, and your backlinks are not sufficient for the Google algorithm to place you where it should. Now, um, these are all things that you could do yourself. Uh, they're not rocket science, but they would be done best by somebody with experience and expertise. I'm going to assume that you would rather spend your experience and expertise putting on rules like this one. And that's why I think you can give Eric a call. He would be happy to lead you through the next steps. Now, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I've been helpful. Have a great rest of your day.